Let's go back to this path that you you decided to be on is your entrepreneur marketing thing, which is interesting because no matter what business you're, I don't care if you're a barbershop, a speaker, SpaceX, or selling groceries, everyone's got to have marketing in some fashion to create leads, to create customers, to create brand. So how have you seen your expertise of when you got out of college, you started learning the ins and outs of marketing. And then in the last 10 years, when you really got your footing on not only running your own companies, but running it for these other brands, how have you seen marketing evolve in the last 10 years? That's kind of highlights of where you think maybe some significant changes were in marketing and that same question then boiled down in the last two years has any of that changed or shifted or diminished or accelerated because of the global pandemic and the way the world is interacting these days yeah i mean great questions i, I think there's really the answer is, is both i mean i think in general there's fundamentals that apply no matter where we're at i mean there's there's certain fundamentals about understanding the customer avatar who are they wh where they need to be what their interests are their emotions feelings something of that nature what gets them to move to take action there's fundamentals there, but certainly, I mean, it's evolved like tremendously and it continues to evolve at a very quick rate. I mean, I, I just think back to even Brian Tracy and, and us watching the data and data is so important in marketing and it's it's even getting bigger and bigger. The, the data world is, is just phenomenal. The amount of data we're collecting and how to make marketing decisions on that. But I mean, just basic simple data was, wow, people aren't buying CDs anymore and cassettes. You know, we get all this inventory, Brian, you know, we, you know, people are doing these things called MP3s. We better start, you know, you know evolving and, and starting to sell those, you know, and then all of a sudden you have to build a, 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 a way for people to consume mp3s in a, in a customer you know user-friendly format so you know i'm taking this back a while now but even today's market you think okay recently pandemic all sorts of evolutions from attention spans we're all fighting for attention and you know how do you get somebody's attention in you know one second five seconds how do we have content out there for one second which is why youtube continues to be tremendous and you know such a great search engine if you will and while people are you know I, you know we were always pushing content marketing you know being because content marketing marketing. I mean, the, the great stuff you're doing, just getting out there. It's not easy. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work to do these podcasts, but and it's not going to happen overnight. You certainly understand this is a this is a long walk, a long journey to get there. But ultimately, doing things like that is ultimately going to you know, get ahead in marketing because people are consuming when they want and how they want, what speed they want, what medium they want. And, you know, our ability to constantly get there is, is important. Now, in that COVID, 